Tu veux un café Bien sûr. It feels weird. By the way, it's a 40 minute drive away. But it feels weird dropping off a car that I've only just got and it feels so new. And I'm still in that phase where it's like excite. All you want to do is kind of get up and go drive the new car. Yet we have to drop it off, but it's for the best. It's going to be for a while. It's like two weeks. Anyway. Never forget your GoPro. It's a beautiful day. Sunglasses day. Keep this going. Welcome to Protect Monaco's new centre here in Nice. Right, first step is jet washing the car because we came down from Switzerland with it. It's got like salt and stuff apparently. I mean, these guys are experts. They looked at the car and within two seconds they could say what it had on it. So we need to jet wash it. So what the hell is that thing? You see that? So yes, as we drove it down from Switzerland, the car is basically so dirty that we need to jet wash it. What they usually do here is they have this, I can't remember what they call it in English, but it's basically like a no water cleaning system. So it's a spray you just put on and you don't usually need to wet the car if it's just to kind of do little touch ups here and there. But the car is dirty enough now that we actually need to wet it and use the jet washer. Right, lift. Funny story about this petrol station where we're at now. Once came here with three McLaren 570s and someone from McLaren backed into one of the posts here and ruined the carbon rear. Oh, I'm getting sandwiched. The carbon rear of a 570. So there you go. Okay. Boom.
Right, so now the car has been cleaned already a little bit. Looks quite cool, doesn't it? Sorry, I'm so excited by this. Now it needs to go on here. Don't know what's happening next, but presumably we're cleaning it and then all the parts will be taken off. Right, so we've started putting the, when I say we, I mean they, have started putting the film on. We're going to do a full, full PPF on the whole car. So a lot of the time what happens is you'll get a front PPF or certain parts. For example, on Porsches on 911s, this part right here often gets protected because it comes out for the wheel arch in the back. So you get a lot of kind of little stones hitting. So that often gets protected in the front, but we're actually doing full everything because the car may and uh, well, i may take it you know on long road trips i may take it to the snow where you want to protect it from the salt loads of different things just figured you know what let's do the whole thing so you can see that what you need to do is you kind of need to make the surface quite moist and then you put the uh yeah the film on top of that so i'm just going to basically let you watch it see it with some uh, b-roll which everyone's going to film right now and step by step we're going to get to the different pieces of the car, but it takes ages to do this because there are so many little details um, that you need to do. And for example, the doors, you need to take some parts off from the interior. It's, it's all very complex, but it has begun. With the Porsche, this feels surreal. How cool is this? The weekend track murderer and the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate usable supercar daily driver. What a surreal feeling. Okay, so I've done a little walk around the car and it's actually, it's basically nearly done in terms of the PPF being on the car. So the whole front end is done. The doors have been done. The wing mirrors are getting finished now, but the wing mirrors had to come off and this whole rear section has been done. And that's all one piece. You see from the back here all the way around and under, it's all one piece. So it's a super kind of intricate piece that, uh, to put on. And they've actually removed the air inlets here, which are a 
Porsche exclusive actually option on mine in carbon fiber. And it's hard to put this in context to a video, but that is unbelievably light when you hold it up. So that kind of just slips in right there. That's been paint protected as well. So the car's almost done, so it shows how quickly they've been able to do it. And you can either do kind of pre-cut pieces, which they did, for example, on some of the front, because you can do that, it's an option that they do here at Protec, or every piece cut individually so that it's kind of measured really nicely. And they've also wrapped it under the PPS, so you can't see any of the ends of the film, which is a nice touch, because sometimes it's the easiest way to see if a car's got a PPF or not. You can see kind of the line of where it's been cut. So what's left now are the wing mirrors, the wing here, and the rear three quarts on the other side. And the reason that it's actually gonna stay here for quite a lot longer is because once everything's been put on, they just wanna check that the film doesn't move with the liquid that you put to kind of be able to stick it on at first. That it doesn't move, that there aren't any imperfections, and you kind of need to let it sit for a little while for it to be really perfect. It's gonna sit around for a couple of days purely just to check if it's been put perfectly and if it's, you know, it doesn't need any touches. And then uh, eventually maybe doing a few little readjustments and then I'll come and pick the car up. But look how cool it is with the other one right there behind. So cool to see the yellow calipers on both. The yellow details, you can't see too much, but the seat belts on the Ferrari are yellow. You can tell here though, how tinted the windows are on the Ferrari. See how much more clear it is here than on that one. That's just purely because on, on the Swiss plate, I need to keep it this way. We were thinking about tinting the rear windows a bit more, but we'll see that down the line. But yeah, awesome. I mean, I hope you guys have enjoyed this whole process. Mm -hmm. Not sure if we're gonna keep this video going until I come pick it up. Probably actually. So maybe the next time I see you, is when I'm picking up the car. Okay, today is the day, guys, finally. For you, it's probably about two seconds later in the video. For me, it's five, six days after. Back with the Ferrari once more at ProTech, which is somewhere you're getting to know quite well, as am I. Ferrari's actually not too dirty for once. Last time we came here, it was embarrassingly dirty. Anyways, the car is finished. I just saw it for the French version of the video. It looks nuts. So let's go in and I'll show you guys. Hello, hello. Hi, sir. How are you? Welcome, please. Thank you, thank you. Right, come on in, guys. Look at this. this so much as I said I didn't get to drive it very much before it kind of came here but it is completely done full PPF on the whole car now it does have about 20,000 kilometers on it the car so it's not brand new but they've managed to kind of iron out any tiny 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 little imperfections that there were and the, the tricky thing about a PPF on video is you can't see anything so it probably looks exactly the same as it did at the beginning of the video for you guys but that's the beauty of it a PPF when it's well done is invisible and this is invisible. There's, you can't see the edges of it at all. You wouldn't be able to come up to this car close, up close. You'd have no idea that it's got a full layer of PPF on it. It's also had the ProTech, it's called the 3D Plus treatment, which is effectively another added treatment on top of it, which makes the color pop even more and protects the car long-term against any wear, sun wear on the paint, things like that. And it means that you actually, so for the first time I can really see the metallic finish on the, um, on the paint. And, and Funny enough, I hadn't noticed this. I knew they were black wheels, but they're actually the exact same paint as the car. So the wheels even have the metallic finish on them. And it almost looks like a really dark blue because it's been so purified, the paint, that you can really see what it comes to deep down. Don't know if you can tell, but anyways, it is a black, but it almost looks dark blue under this lighting right here. So it's all been done the wings, the everything. Every single detail of this car is protected and it's really, really cool. Now, one thing also, which is awesome, if I grab the key, which is here, when you get your PPF done here at ProTech, you get a little bag of goodies or like a suitcase of goodies, I should say. So look, it comes in a car like this. So anyone who gets a treatment done gets one of these. So I'm very excited. This is the, this is the kind of thing which actually gets me so pumped. I don't know if you guys are as geeky as me with these things, but look, you've got a so window cleaner. All of these um, products are developed by ProTech. They actually have a um, lab in Monaco and they develop all their kind of uh, products. This is waterless cleaning, spe specially made for cars that have had the 3D plus treatment. So as I say, this car's had 
a full PPF, and then the 3D plus treatment, which is the kind of the highest caliber uh, treatment. So it should be, you know, what it is, absolutely spotless. Waterless cleaning means you don't need any water, so you don't need to spray it with anything apart from with this, and then you wipe it off and the car's pretty spotless. We've got two mic fibers. Uh, these are incredible for drying the car. You basically just pass it over once, boom, all, all the water's gone. This is shampoo, which you can put into one of those really cool um, kind of mousse guns, you know? So you just spray it all over and the car's completely covered. So this little box right here is going to remain in the car at all times and keep it nice and clean. And it fits perfectly in and looks pretty cool, I think. So that is that. Now we're going to do a couple of things to demonstrate the PPF on this because as I say, for you guys, it's impossible to know because it is invisible. But we do have a couple things which show the quality of this material. Right, I'm ready, I'm armed. We've got a lovely Clio 220 Trophy. I actually had one, a loaner car of this, a white one, ages ago. Anyways, relevant. We're gonna, well, I'm gonna try and put a piece of BPF on the front of this car so we can see exactly how it's done um, and what the different steps are and we can learn together because it's, as I say, so hard to demonstrate on a car which is already done. That was a demonstration, there was a lot of French. I apologize, but basically we just put PPF on the front part here and went over it with a key, my car key. And you know, yeah, look, I can go over this with a key. <gasps> That's the weirdest feeling. I feel guilty. I know it's doing nothing to the paint, but I can go over it with a key like that. <laughs> it feels so weird. Anyways, that is protecting the paint of this beautiful Clio. And also what's nuts is they were explaining earlier how you can see little scratches just that you get from, from cleaning the car. Um, and in various places, etc. You can have little scratches, they're called micro rayures in French. And when you put the film on, they kind of just disappear. So it's really impressive to see, to see the, the ability of the film. And there's a box over there, which shows us the strength of it. So let's go over there. So this is a box right here with the film placed on top of it. And this is like a demo for when clients come here, which shows how strong the film is. It's obviously not, in, I mean, it was basically indestructible. I can press, I'm pressing, look, I am putting all my weight against that. Oh my God. And you can even try with the key. Now it's not obviously indestructible, but I mean, it goes pretty far before it breaks. Duh! It's insane. And then, so if you put it like this, and then if we bring the heat in, it has this ability of like reforming itself with the heat, which is nuts. Anyways, little demonstration right there of how strong a BPF is. Right, that's pretty much it. You now know pretty right, well as much as I do about the film on the car. I hope one day, if you ever do get to see this car in real, you know, at like a car meet or whatever, it's amazing how soft it is as well. So if one day you get the opportunity to just touch a car with a PPF on it, it is pretty incredible. But huge thanks to Protec. All of their links are gonna be down below. Um, they've got centers kind of all over the place. So if ever you need that, uh, yeah. I don't really know what else to say because I'm just so excited to, to go drive my new baby again. So I'll see you guys very soon. Please give us this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Bye bye.